everyone. Welcome to the C3 Church Global Podcast. It is so good to have you listening with us this week, and we got something very special. We're talking to the pastors of our C3 Alicante Church in Spain. Their son is going to be interpreting for me, so I want you to welcome Aaron hey, hello. and uh, Pastor Gustavo and Fabiana, who have been pastoring this church for how long? ¿Cuánto hace que estáis pastoreando esta iglesia? En uh, Alicante estamos a partir de 2007. We started in Alicante in 2007. Amen. And did you uh, start this church then? Eh, ¿Y todo empezó en esta iglesia primero? No, no, no. Teníamos un, eh, todo empezó en nuestra casa, en nuestro e hogar. Everything started in our house. Después nos mudamos a un local pequeño. We moved to a small venue. Y en uh, 2019 nos mudamos a este. And 2019 edificio. we started in this venue. Yeah. Amazing. How did you become part of C3? ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo llegaste a ser parte de C3? Wow, yo creo que es una historia larga que lo vamos a re resumir. It's a, it's a long story, but let's do it this short. Aaron fue a estudiar a Australia. Aaron went to Australia to, for, this, for a scholarship. Y, uh, conoció C3. And he met C3. Y se enamoró de C3. And he fell in love. Y uh, vino C3. y nos habló mucho. This is you. La cultura. Yeah, that, that. yeah. <laughs> And he came here and spoke a lot about the culture. Can I, can I just ask you what, what, that, what happened? Uh, well, yeah. uh, voy a hacer una pregunta. Yeah. ¿Qué es lo que pasó? Uh, just I saw a big church with a family heart. Like uh, it's a massive church, but it's closer, you know, with, with everyone. That's that's impressive. So that that attracted you? Yes, yeah. I said this is what I want for my city. Nice, nice. Okay, carry on. Yeah. Uh, let's see what. Uh, what happened after that? Ah, no. Conocimos al pastor Simon. And and the first person we met was Simon McIntyre. Y robó nuestro corazón. And he stole our hearts. Nice. And and that was in 2000 and... Uh, 13, 14, okay. 2013. Okay. 2013. So, Pastor Fabiana, tell us how you met Simon. Y, y Pastor Fabiana, ¿cómo, ¿cómo fue eso de conocer a Simon? Oh, en, él vino a casa. He, he came to our house. Eh, ellos lo conocieron en Barcelona. Uh, they met him in Barcelona in a small conference. Y, y yo oraba que el Espíritu Santo nos uniera. I, I was praying like uh, if a real connection is Holy Spirit must do this connection. No Because the point is that we don't speak English. It can be a limit limitation for us. But honestly, the, the Holy Spirit yeah. they cleared this barrier. No? And, and, the, and Simon was like a father for us in, the, in this yeah. season. Right. Now, he... Uh, He says to me that you might be the most Christian family he has ever met. <laughs> yeah, I've got to admit that I, it is impressive because I I saw this guy last night on the stage playing guitar. <laughs> And your other son playing on the stage. <laughs> And then your daughter is leading worship. <laughs> And they're here today with these leadership sessions. <laughs> And then last year I was here, they were all just as deeply involved. <laughs> Tell me, Fabiana, what has been the secret to you raising family in the ministry? <laughs> ¿Cómo es el secreto para hacer crecer familia dentro del ministerio? Wow. Una de las claves que encontré en Dios. One of my, my key that I think. Ser auténtica con el padre. Is to be authentic in, in, in your home. Para ser genuina con los hijos. And be authentic in, in with your sons. Uh -huh. eh, o sea, vivir esa relación de, de decir, Señor, quiero amarte. The, to say, Lord, I want to love you. Para enseñarle a amarle a ellos. And just in the only way to show them how to love you. Y después siempre dije no. And <laughs> I used to say no. This is my <laughs> favorite answer. <laughs> well, so uh, in terms of when you say be authentic, what does that mean, literally? Does that, does that mean you uh, share your heart or your feelings with them or you, you, what, what do you think that means? Cuando dices ser auténtico a, a los hijos y tal, ¿qué, ¿a qué te refieres exactamente? Cuando me equivocado les pedido perdón. When I do a mistake, I say sorry. Right. Eh, he orado por ellos. I just really pray with my heart for them. Pero eso lo llevado a un nivel de que cuando ellos han fracasado saben que podían venir a mí. 
and be and be clear that when they have a, a fail or a mistake, they can come to me. Y que mamá no los iba a juzgar. And mom will not judge uh, them. Y okay. No a uh, I, I was here just to. to y nunca utilicé la la Biblia o la Iglesia para condenar. And we, I never use the Bible or the church just to condemn um, right. and to do bad things in home. Beautiful. ¿Qué estaba? Yo creo que una de las claves que hemos, uh, hemos descubierto I think that one of the key that we discover es ser los mismos en la iglesia que en nuestra casa. Is to be the same in church that you are in home. Ser iguales. It's the same person. No ser el pastor aquí. You are not the pastor in church. Y en casa de otra manera. And in the house you are the father. Yeah, that is a, that is a challenge, isn't it? Es Because un... some people, I mean, even that you might know quite Closely, when they get up on the stage, it's like they're a different person. Uh, uh, es difícil porque hasta gente cuando sube al escenario es una persona diferente. Yeah. yeah. And this generation of young people desperately want authenticity and definitely can see uh, falseness as soon as it's there. Y, y esta generación me doy cuenta que realmente se da cuenta enseguida cuando hay uh, gente auténtica y cuando sí. hay gente fal yes. falsa. Right. And so... In terms of in the church, uh, with having your children involved with you, uh, how have you found it working together if they disagree with you? Y, y, y estando ellos trabajando con vosotros en la iglesia, ¿cómo gestionáis cuando ellos no están de acuerdo en algo con vosotros? Wow, una pregunta. Wow. <laughs> Ah, yo creo que nos hemos sentado más de una vez y nosotros también hemos escuchado mm. a ellos ya después de tener una edad hemos, los hemos escuchado porque al, a lo mejor hay cosas que nosotros vemos de una manera pero ellos pueden tener otra visión y, y hemos give podido me, yeah. me, thank you, thank you. Uh, a lot of time we sit in a table and, and we, we are really open to her and flexible to, to her ideas and opinions and what they think because sometimes yeah. I feel that My age or my my my, I, I will have limitations. You know, I yeah. I need to understand that maybe they will have a bigger vision or or different. They are in that different season that maybe they can see different stuff. You know? Yeah, very good. And and oh, bueno. and and so, uh, give me an example of a time when you have deferred to them when they've had another idea than what you have had. Dame un ejemplo. ¿Te acuerdas de alguna situación en donde ellos tenían alguna idea diferente a la tuya? <laughs> <risa> pero uh, sí, a veces, a veces es como el formato de la reunión o el tiempo. Para mí, yo por aquí quería hacer un, un servicio muy largo. Maybe it's the way that we do the service. Sometimes I, I've been thinking, no, we need to have a longer service. Y tuvimos que escucharlos. And we, we must uh, to hear them. Uh, yo me decía, en la universidad, más de 40 minutos, no hay una clase. In the university, more than 40 minutes, people don't hear it. <risa> That's right. And we need to hear them. Yeah. Yeah, well, th that's definitely true. An older generation believe that you you need to preach like for 50 minutes to an hour. En la antigua generación pensaba que teníamos que predicar 50 minutos a una hora, ¿verdad? Sí, ya, ya. You you must be very very good if you're going to hold people's attention in this world for that long. Demasiado bueno para que la gente aguante ese tiempo. Yeah. And so uh and and it always fascinated me that when we surveyed our church uh, and we would ask people, why do you come here? Uh, they would say, oh, the community, or they would say the vision, or they would say, I have friends here, or they would say the worship, uh, or things like that. And my preaching was like down at number five, and I thought I was doing pretty good with my preaching, but it's not the, that's not what the yeah. people come for. And we need to provide enough room before a service starts and certainly after it's finished for people to connect because that emotional bonding is what grows the church. Paul says that, you know, that, that when we are joined and knit together, we grow. Um, both Ephesians and Colossians, he says that. And so I always think that it's the 15 minutes after a church service finishes is when you grow the church. Yeah. And uh, within the church, people can be complete strangers, but it's when they join and knit together and bond. So, uh, so yeah, I, even though I might have found it a little disheartening that my preaching wasn't the main reason, I think most preachers need to hear 
and understand that, that that they can be pretty good. But in the end, people go where they got yeah. they got bonding. Now, Spanish hospitality is pretty well famous. You know, it's like Italian hospitality, for goodness sake. And uh, you would you would spend a lot of time developing that community, I imagine. Fabiana. Claro, algo que veía, él decía es que al final la predica no termina siendo más importante, sino que la gente viene por diferentes cosas y especialmente por la hospitalidad. Y los españoles tienen muy buena hospitalidad, igual que los italianos, ¿no? Entonces, ¿cómo hacéis esa hospitalidad para que la gente realmente se quede en la iglesia? Wow, tratamos de, de identificarnos con ello y, y amarles. Una de las cosas que tratamos de conocerlos de la, después de la reunión invitarlos a un café, charlar, tomar un ratito con ellos, muy importante, la gente necesita ser oído. We, we try just to be really closer of, of new people, like uh, they, we need to, to drink, like it's a mask, like uh, we need to drink a coffee, we need to know, maybe if they are open, we need to know their problems, we, they need to feel that they, we are here just to help them. Exactly. So I guess my question would be, you, you have one of the larger churches in Alicante and in Spain, why have people come to your church? Alicante ya es una una de las iglesias grandes, tanto Alicante como de de España. Entonces, ¿por qué la gente viene aquí? Hay algo hay algo especial que la gente viene. Nos sorprende cada domingo. It is something special that that uh, people came. We don't know lleg- every Sunday. Lleg- llega mucha gente. We have a lot of new people every Sunday. Y en Madrid nos pasa lo mismo. And in Madrid is happening the same. Es como que hemos, no sé, Dios lo ha hecho, creamos una atmósfera it's, aquí como en Madrid. It's a natural God atmosphere that people is coming. Y, y la gente viene porque porque se siente amada. But people f- uh, feel in love and they feel the love. Ha, hace muchos años Fabiana sintió de poner un lema para las mujeres y es un lugar para cada mujer. Some years ago Fabiana had the feeling to to put a, a name for the woman that is is a place for every woman. All right. Yeah, well, definitely Jesus said, look, I'm I'm going away to prepare a place for you. And he says, don't let your hearts be troubled because I think people really want to belong. Yeah. And so when you create a space for them, people will will come. Yeah. Jesús dijo, voy a ir, voy a preparar espacio para todos. Y, yeah. y él, él dijo, la gente necesita sentirse que pertenece. Yeah. yeah. Sí, el, el domingo pasado, Last Sunday, una joven que había dado a luz, a, a woman that, that have a, a new baby. Trajo una amiga le dijo, esta iglesia todas las que vienen quedan embarazadas. And, and she said to to her friend that he my friend said, every woman that arrived to this church is pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> Ella quedó embarazada las dos semanas. After she no was pregnant in two weeks and she couldn't have a child, you know. La gente viene por el milagro que operó en ellos primero. Some people we see that are coming for the miracle that they saw in, in different friends, yeah. different people. Amazing. Yeah, and so you are a brand new grandmother because this guy sí, has just had a baby. Abuela, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So now all of your your children, it seems to me, are involved in business. Ahora eh, los hijos parece que tienen tan envueltos en negocios. Sí. <laughs> yeah. So you, Aaron, are doing agriculture, right. is it? Uh, with through satellites. Yeah. Startup. Explain that. Yes. Uh, dice, explica lo que hacéis. Yeah, uh, we have a technological company that we use satellites just to monitor crops and we apply artificial intelligence to predict what's going to happen in the future just to the big land and growers can can take the, the, the low risk and improve productivity. And now you're branching into a whole new company of real estate. Yes, and, and we, 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 are, we, we have been thinking that technological is something amazing that we are focusing now in real estate also in the second company. Right. Now, you said to me yesterday that when you first started coming in amongst C3, you you were not that well off. Yeah, yeah it is it is true. Like, uh, true. We, 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 we was uh, uh, literally a poor uh, family. A poor family. So what happened? Um, I think that uh, they, they, we, what we are harvest, is the seed of, of, of the family. Right. When I say family, it's no, it's no our seed, it's, it's their seed. You know? And I think that they, 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 as a missionary, they have been sacrificing a lot of things. Right. And now we can see the fruits. You know? Amazing. So for how long have you been serving the Lord as missionaries? ¿Cuántos años hace que estáis viendo 
al Señor como misioneros. Eh, porque yo le dije que nosotros estamos recogiendo la semilla que vosotros en yeah. Yeah. And, uh, En España, 20 años. En España, 20 años. Right, ok. Before Spain. Y antes de España. Eh, en Argentina. En Argentina, en Argentina, we, we, en Argentina yo tenía una empresa. I was a, a business person in Argentina. Me dedicaba al metal. Uh, a la I had a, a big company in the steel industry. Pero pudimos eh, fundar una iglesia desde cero. And in parallel we planted church and the same time that we, I was running a, a business. Fue nuestra primera iglesia. That was our first church. Okay, so what made you come out of the business world into planting a church? Ah, ¿y, ¿y qué fue lo que te llevó a dejar el negocio y ir a plantar iglesia? Yo creo que ha sido un llamado. Was a call just era, to left the business, left everything and, and start era, era más planting. fuerte el llamado que el, que, que el, los negocios. The, the, la my call was really hard, really stronger than the business. Everything don't have, don't create noise. Okay, so how did you feel about that, Fabiana, when y, that happened? ¿Y cómo lo sentiste eso, Fabiana, cuando, cuando sucedió, cuando tomaste la decisión? Oh, ah, Súper feliz. I was happy es algo que te quema el oh, because I was I, with the same call. Yes, with, yeah. ves que otros son when, when we start to see a lot of missionaries uh, and we was there in our city Gracias. and I was crying because we don't want to be here uh, estar ahí? because I want to be in the mission. Amazing. So that's the call of God. Eso es el de Dios. And, and did you find that that affected your income? ¿Y esto afectó a los ingresos? Yes. <laughs> Mucho. A lot. A lot. So, so it was a big sacrifice. They opened the, the, the fridge and nothing. You know, nothing. Right, right. So what he is saying is that your years of sacrifice are now, he's reaping. Que los, él dice que los años de sacrificio y de siembra son, son la cosecha de yeah. estos años. Yeah, so obviously he's going to bless you. Entonces él te tiene que bendecir. Yeah, 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 yeah. All your children will be a blessing. Todos los hijos van a ser bendecidos. Amen. Now your daughter is the worship leader. Y tu hija es la líder de la danza. Yeah. And, and I think that listening to your music, that would be one of the main reasons people are attracted to your church. Y de verdad, escuchando vuestra música, yo creo que es un punto importante del por qué la gente viene. Sí. Why, why has the worship here been so vital and so dynamic? ¿Por, ¿Por qué crees que la, la, la adoración aquí en la iglesia ha sido buena, dinámica y, y poderosa? Entiendo que si nuestro corazón no fuera un corazón que adorara desde de todas las áreas, es imposible transmitirlo a la iglesia. Y es I, importante que los músicos lo tengan. I, I think that the, the worship from the beginning is, is something that we have a, a clear in our heart, like it's important. Right. Super important. And it's, I'm, I'm so thrilled to hear it and see so much of the presence of God in your meetings. It's been really exciting. We're looking forward to having our European uh, conference here in October. Y, eh, no, la verdad que se siente el Espíritu Santo y estamos muy contentos de que en octubre se pueda hacer la, la conferencia wow. de Jesús aquí. Yeah. And there'll be like, what, three or four hundred people out in that big hall of yours. Y así que van a tener 300, 400 personas aquí. Yeah. Yeah. Es un honor. For us, it's like an honor. Yeah. Oh, well, the, yeah, we were so blessed last year when we had the European Conference here in Alicante. Y nosotros fuimos muy bendecidos el año pasado de estar aquí en Guadalajara. You did such a good job. We said, let's, let's come back here. <laughs> Vamos a volver a otra vez. <laughs> What's the future of C3 Alicante? Are you planting more churches? ¿Cuál es el futuro de C3 Alicante? ¿Va a plantar más iglesias? ¿Dónde vais? Yo justo le decía que cuando oro por, por Agustín y veía a la iglesia en un río, um, I, I, um, termina la frase. Eh, yo estoy orando por Sevilla, en Sevilla. Uh, I'm, 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 when when you, you, the pastor has been praying for someone before, and you say that so someone planting a church close to a river. And um, if, if we have a, a, our heart, Sevilla, Sevilla is a south city, a big city in Spain. Uh, so you have a huge uh, river in the city. Beautiful. Well, I, I see your church growing in the future, no doubt. Yo veo la iglesia creciendo. Yeah. Yeah. I see you planting new churches all around Spain. Veo que se van a plantar más iglesias. Wow. In the name of Jesus. And I believe you'll have a great influence on many families too. Y creo que vais a tener buena influencia en muchas familias. Wow. Amen. Lord, bless this church and all of its future and the families. Amen. 
Dios bendice esta iglesia y esta familia. En el nombre de Jesús. Thanks so much for being with us, guys. Muchas gracias por estar aquí. God bless you. Gracias. Dios bendice. Thank you so much, Pastor.